Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to Metarune. So, you want to install mods for Valheim, hey? Well, you've come to the right place. There are a few things to know, so let's make sure you get all of the info you need. First of all, where do you get your mods from? There are two different mod database websites, the first being Nexus Mods, which you can see here, and the second being Thunderstore.io. There are a few different mods that are exclusive to each, but for the most part, they're, they're pretty equivalent, uh, and you can install any of those kind of exclusive mods with uh, a little bit of effort. Now, you can install these mods manually, uh, just kind of downloading a folder and unzipping it into your Valheim game files, uh, but that can get pretty cumbersome as you start to get more files, and if you, you know, play on different servers or want different mods for different characters, uh, that can become a headache really quickly. So you, at that point, need a mod manager. Both of these sites offer a mod manager. Nexus Mods offers one called Vortex, which you can see here. And Thunderstore has one called the Thunderstore Mod Manager. Um, but it's also just kind of a rebranded version of uh, an old mod manager called R2 Modman. This one's a little bit more popular, but uh, they're both synonymous. They have the exact same UI, so uh, I'll consider them the same thing from this point on. Now, Vortex uses the Nexus Mods database, and Thunderstore or R2 Modman uses the Thunderstore mod database. So what are the differences between them? Let's look at Vortex and Nexus Mods first. Nexus Mods generally has a few more mods available than Thunderstore, but it's you know not too many. And again, there's a way to install Thunderstore mods in Nexus or in Vortex and vice versa. But the browse experience is slightly better. There are more pictures on mod pages, so you generally get a little bit more information when you're browsing and looking for things. So you can see I've got Epic Loop pulled up here. Um, you get little preview images. Uh, they also have uh, videos sometimes, and they've even got like posts and forums, which are really handy to be able to ask the mod author or other users for support. So all in all, I really like the Nexus Mods website. But unfortunately for Vortex, that's kind of where the positives end. It's a rather messy and clunky UI. You can kind of see this dashboard here with widgets that you can drag around, and they've got a bunch of stuff for like downloads and other games and extensions and knowledge base. None of this you really use at all. And the mod installation is a little bit clunky. Uh, you end up having to like enable things and, and it pops up notifications and you have to click elevate and install. And there, there's kind of some weird steps involved for technical reasons, which I'll get into in a moment. But uh, yeah, overall, it's, it just kind of puts me off a little bit. It's not the worst, but it's, it could be better. It'll also tell you if there's an update sometimes. So you can see, for example, like I, there's an update for this mod here. This doesn't always work. I'm not quite sure why, but, and then when you actually go to download the update, you still have to uh, open it up in your browser and download a file, which opens it up in here. So it doesn't really do all that much for you other than, you know, signify that there's an update. One thing that I really like out of a mod manager is the ability to set up profiles. So I can have different combinations of mods depending on what I'm doing in game. This is something that Vortex does support, but it's hidden by default, which is kind of odd to me. So you can see I've got two different profiles set up here. If you go into your settings, it's hidden under enable profile management right here. So yeah, that, that's one that catches a lot of people and ends up pushing them over to the R2 mod man option. Next, you have to edit config files manually. So a lot of these mods will have configuration files where you can tweak the settings and that type of thing. You actually have to go into your files and open up a text editor and manually change things in there and save them, uh, which is, isn't the worst, but it, it could be better. They do offer a configuration manager. So you can hit F1 inside of Valheim and it'll bring up a little window where you can edit the settings. However, not all of the mods support this, and for the mods that do, not all of the configuration fields seem to show up in there uh, in every instance, so that can be a bit annoying sometimes. One thing that's nice about Vortex is it uses symbolic links to link the downloaded mods directly into your Valheim game folder. So this means that you can start Valheim with Steam and your mods will still work. Uh, you do have the ability to start it with the uh, Vortex mod manager up in the top left, though. So all in all, Vortex gets the job done, but it's generally less clean and intuitive than the Thunderstore option. So that leads us to Thunderstore and R2 mod band. Let's go have a look. The Thunderstore mod database is kind of no nonsense, but it lacks some of the nicer features that Nexus Mods has. As you can see from the homepage, you know that browsing is maybe a little bit less immersive. 
And then when you actually jump into a mod page, you don't get the same level of imagery. Uh, you don't have the forums and the posts to be able to contact the author. You know, it's essentially just a basic readme. And if you need to ask questions or get support, uh, you need to generally go to the GitHub page for that project. Now, looking at the R2 Modman Mod Manager, try to say that five times fast. It, it's the exact same as the Thunderstore app. They've got identical interfaces, like I said. They are super clean. I love the look of them. They've got a light and a dark mode, which is cool. This is the dark mode here. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty simplistic. You know, you've got all your mods listed here. Uh, you can search for mods and download them directly in here. You don't need to use the web interface like you do with Nexus mods. I really like that. You can set up profiles so you can jump between different profiles here and that'll swap out all of your installed mods, which is great. It also supports mod packs, which is something that Vortex doesn't. So you can share a mod pack with your friends so that you can all have the same mods installed. A uh, great way to experience a modded server together. Uh, they also have an integrated config editor, which is really nice. Uh, you can see that here. So let's say I jump into you know the, the gizmo config. Uh, I can hit add a config and it pulls out all of those lines that would be in the text file into this nice, uh, you know, editor here where you've got text inputs for for tweaking things. Love to see that. One thing that may be a bit of a downside for you compared to Vortex is that uh, the mods are not symbolically linked. And so this means that you have to start Valheim from the mod manager. Uh, so you can see there's a start modded or start vanilla here. If you start it from Steam, it'll be totally unmodded. So which is my favorite? I've been using Vortex for quite a while now, and I've recently decided to make the switch to R2 Modman uh, based on the recommendation of some friends, and I'm actually really, really liking it. Uh, the UI is super clean. It's just a little bit more simplistic than, uh, than Vortex. I would say it comes down to this. Choose Vortex and Nexus mods if you really care about the browsing experience, and choose Thunderstore and R2 Modman if you want a better manager experience or the ability to share mod packs with others. Question for you, would you like to see how to set up these mod managers? I'd be happy to do another video. Let me know down in the comments. I'd also love to know what your favorite mods are that you're installing. Anyway, let me know if you have any questions. I hope that was helpful and I'll catch you next time.